A mature dandelion is a work of art. It's a symbol of creativity. It's a masterpiece of nature. The flower bears such untold influence as each tuft has got a story to tell. As a creator, I have the same reverence for the creative process that I have for the finished product. I love the methods as much as I love the masterpiece, whether the masterpiece is a book, a painting, or a song. The nuts and bolts of creativity are sacred rudiments. Even the mechanics are holy. I might be about to say something stupid, but I'll drop the mic when I'm done because I still said it and you still listened. You have to put yourself in front of the best, the best books, minds, music, art, and then create an informed opinion through comparison and also contrast. Get outside, let creation inspire and refresh you. Let all of it, the ideas, the images, the recipes, the paintings, the trees, the mountains, the theology, the books, let it all swirl around and cross-pollinate in your head. Do it every day. If you don't, you won't have what it takes to be an artist. You must know when to stop. Know when to put the book down. Know that you aren't putting it down to indulge yourself. You're putting it down to hug someone, to make your own recipe, or to have a cup of coffee with a friend. That's how creative people rest. They give their brains a change of scenery. The bigger the contrast, the better the effect. Never ever force yourself to be creative. If you have to try to be an artist, then you aren't. Embrace it. The whole world is missing out on the best parts of you because you're trying to be like someone else you look up to. Even artists can't try to be artists. They just are. Making no strained effort to be creative is vital to the process of real art. Trust that in due time, the creative impulse will come to you. A mature dandelion is nature's work of art, a symbol of creativity.